Hello darlings, this is Song Juli and welcome to my channel where we talk everything sewing. In today's video we will talk about sewing machine needles, our tiny helpers that play a central part in sewing project success. My goal today is to provide you with practical and essential information about sewing machine needles so that by the end of the video you will know which needle to choose, when and why. Today's video is created in partnership with needle industry experts Organ Needles. Organ Needle history began in 1920 with the manufacture of gramophone needles in Tokyo. This is why when you look up close to the Organ Needles logo you can see Lady with Organ device which comes from the gramophones association with music as well as sewing machines rhythmic movements. The sewing machine needle was actually the company's second product. Today Organ Needles are recognized as one of the top brands in needle industry, trusted by clients all over the world. Thanks to accumulation of excellent processing technology, organ needles create beautiful and accurate stitches and wide product range allows you to find perfectly fitted needles for any project that you have on hand. Over 100 years of needle making upward into creating high quality products that ensures top results to their users. So now let's talk those needles. To better understand differences between different types of needles, we need to quickly overview the anatomy of the needle. Every sewing machine needle consists of these parts. Flat shank, paper, blade, scarf, needle eye and tip of the point. Different shapes, lengths, widths of these parts create different purpose needles. Sewing machine needles come in several different types. Here are the most popular ones. Universal, the most common type of needle. It has a sharp tip of the point and will work with great with many woven fabrics combined with polyester all-purpose or cotton thread. These needles come in several different sizes, so make sure to pick the right one for your project and fabric. Jersey needle compared to universal needle have round tip which allows the needle to slip between the stretch fabric threads instead of cutting through them. As a result, using jersey needle will create a clean, neat seam without stretching it out or tearing it. If you're sewing with very stretchy fabrics like lycra, then super stretch needle should be your best choice as it has a medium ball point and specially designed scarf for skip stitch protection. Okay, moving on, we have specialty needles that come in handy when working with difficult fabrics. These needles are designed to handle thick heavyweight fabrics without skipping stitches or needle breakage. Since denim is a thick fabric, pair it with a thicker sewing thread. Leather, thanks to cutting point, leather needle creates large clean holes, so it's great for sewing tough fabrics. Same as with a jeans needle, combine the leather needle with a thicker thread. Also remember that once the leather is pierced, you cannot remove the hole, so be very careful when sewing with leather. If you work with fine fabrics, you will enjoy Microtex needles. These needles are slim and sharp and prevents from puckering and runs in very tight woven fabrics. If you have an embroidery machine, you can take advantage of several different types of embroidery needles. For example, metallic needles will work great with metallic threads thanks to light ball point and very large eye. Titanium needles have titanium nitride coating for long-lasting performance for embroidery and extreme sewing conditions, also suitable for high-speed embroidery. Special mention goes to anti-glue needle for embroidery when using adhesive sprays, fleece or velcro. Thanks to special coating, this needle will prevent any glue sticking on the needle and ensure superior embroidery results. Your overlock uses different needles than your sewing machine, so it's a good idea to always have a pack of suitable overlock needles available on hand in case you need them. Also, if you don't have a coverlock, having a twin needle to use with your sewing machine might be a great choice for hemming knits with stretchy mock coverlock seam. Before using twin needle, make sure to check your sewing machine manual to make sure that it can handle this type of needle. Nowadays, many machines can use it, but it's always a good idea to double check it. 
So the most common question is what size of needles do I need? The rule for choosing needle size is very simple. The thicker the fabric, the higher needle size. If you're working with sheer lightweight fabrics, go with 70 or 80 size needle. When working with thick, heavy upholstery fabrics, choose 100 or 100 10 size. Most commonly used size is 90. This is this is the size that will work great with a broad range of medium weight fabrics. Needle size is written on the package and you can always find this information on the needle itself. Also, it's very important to choose the thread that matches your needle size. For example, if you're sewing jeans with 100 size needle, choose a thicker thread to ensure the best seam quality. With so many needle types available, you might be questioning which ones you need to have. So I can speak from my own experience, I personally always have a selection of universal needles in different sizes as well as jersey needles because I sew a lot of knits. I also have a set of overlock and embroidery needles. It's good to have spare ones. Sometimes you just urgently need those, so it's very, very good to have those on hand. I also want to mention that organ needles have assorted needle boxes where you can find different types of needles in one convenient package. So in case you need to hem jeans or fix leather handbag, you have an available needle right there in the box. Installing needle may vary depending on your sewing machine model. Loosen the screw just enough to pull out the old needle and then take the new one, flat part facing away from you. Put the new needle up and make sure you're pushing it all, all the way up. This is the most important part, so really make sure that the needle is all up there. Once the needle is in, tighten the screw. How often to change sewing machine needles? To ensure best results, it's a good idea to change needle before every new project. Another idea, you can also set a reminder on your phone to change your needle, let's say, every month. Remember that using old needles may lead to lower seam quality, so always make sure that you have a pack of new needles ready. And last point I want to talk today is how to dispose old needles. Once you replace the needle, don't put it directly in the trash because it might break the bag. To safely store used needles before throwing it out, you can mark the needle and put it back in the original box. Once all the needles are used, you can safely throw it out. Another option is to use a hard box from a candy and store used needles there. So this is all the information I wanted to provide to you about sewing machine needles and I hope you learned something new. Special thanks goes to the sponsor of the video, Organ Needle, which helped to provide valuable information for creating this video. I personally have been using Organ Needles for several years already. I use it always here with my industrial sewing machine and I can assure you that their quality is the best. If you enjoyed this video, please then hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!